How's it hanging, 2K heads? This is 2K Kingslayer back again with another NBA 2K18 offensive scheme tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about one play in particular that you can find in the Knicks playbook and a lot of other playbooks. It's a slashing scheme to get Chris Tapps Porzingis right under the basket, which causes just a whole lot of problems. So before we get into it, I'm going to ask that you please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. My goal, as always, is to promote sim gameplay, so if you support that, please help me out, like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it, and thanks for 2,000 subscribers, by the way. So, this is called the Knicks Cutter Scheme. Uh, it's a slashing scheme, but you're also going to get a lot of three-pointers out of this due to the defensive penetration. Our focal point is going to be Porzingis, if you're using the New York Knicks. Uh, pace of play is going to be moderate, not too fast, not too slow. Freelance, it doesn't really matter. I like to use horns because you can get into this play quicker with that formation, but it doesn't matter. And the money play we're going to be looking at is called Cut 5 Horns Dive. Now, in order to access this play, it is not in the default Knicks playbook. What you have to do is go to your big men. So in this case, I have Michael Beasley and Chris Tapps Porzingis. You go to Assign Plays after you hit Options or Start. And you're gonna to go to all your big guys that you're gonna be using in this game. So I go to my bench big guys as well, and I set the priority to cutter. And as you can see, it's called cut five horns dive. So let's see what this is gonna look like. So we're gonna pass the ball to the man at the elbow. Chris Stapps gets right under the basket. He's not open, but we find Courtney Lee for three off of a screen. So let's slow that down. So it starts off with a big man standing at the corner. Chris Stapps is going to come around a little brush screen there. He's not open, but at the same time, there's a little flare screen on the outside that gets Courtney Lee open. So that's one of the examples of what could happen. Let's take a look at another one. This time, I'm going to pass the ball around. Chris Stapps under the basket, and nobody is there but Courtney Lee. So let's slow that down one more time. This is the initial action that you're going to look for using this right here. So. As you can see, Canner gets caught on that pick, leaving Chris Stapps wide open under the basket. Nothing Courtney Lee is going to be able to do about that right there. So let's run it back again. Same play. This time we got Lance Thomas at the elbow. Our bench is in. Canner comes around. He's not open, but Dougie McBuckets from the corner found himself wide open. So first quarter coming to an end here. Lance Thomas, nothing, to McDermott, to Jack. Look at that. I've shown you guys this play four or five different times at this point, and we've scored differently every time. So first quarter winding down here, same play. Enos Cantor, and that time we're just going to spin. They weren't expecting that. Canner throws it down, and he gives me the little respect pause right there. So now let's get into the second quarter. We're up by seven. And Michael Beasley. We pass it back and forth. Chris Stapps waited for us. So he's, as you can see there, the play did not break when we passed the ball out of the play. So that's one of the things about this set that I really like. Let's try that again. Chris Stapps underneath. He's open. Hoop and the harm. Chris Stapps for Zengis is hype. And that's sad, Chris Stapps. Our referee's looking at him like, what you doing, bruh? Why are there two of you out here right now? It doesn't make any sense. All right, guys. You already know what it is. Same play. Enos Cantor. That time, the man from the corner cut inside. Again, how many times have I shown this play? And, and we're getting different results and scoring in different ways. So that's why, for this particular scheme, I'm only showing one play as opposed to, like, the five plays that I usually show. Okay, that time we've gotten that action before. We get the ball inside and kick it out to Dougie McBuckets, knocking it down for three. Ten point lead. So I'm essentially running this play for almost the entire game. We got the ball with Enos Cantor again. Lance Thomas inside puts it in. And is that deja vu? I'm pretty sure we just saw this happen a few minutes ago. The hoop and the harm. But the lead is dwindling. It's down to five now. He's starting to figure the play out. Not that time, though. Chris Tapps open. Too easy. 
but it's a three-point game. He's been scoring pretty well himself. That time, we take it into our own hands with Kristaps Porzingis. And five-point game, 30 seconds left. We need to score for the lead to be safe. Kristaps gets inside, kick it out, kick it back in. Kristaps puts the game away after that seven-point lead. So as you can see, guys, that play is really, really versatile. And the byproduct of Chris Stapps being under the basket is that their defense is going to collapse no matter what. And I've won a lot of games with the Knicks running this play over and over and over. And you can afford to do that because, as you saw, they basically need to pick their poison. Are you going to basically collapse the defense and defend Chris Stapps or whoever your big man is under the bucket? Or are you going to worry about the guy getting the flare screen on the outside? Or are you going to worry about somebody else from the outside penetrating when you're not expecting it? So I love this play. This is one of my favorite plays in the game. Let me know how it works for you guys. Uh, again, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And we'll be back soon. Happy gaming, y'all.